This is Cop Top One here from NoobAlert.com, and with me are some of the OGs and uh, and really or original organizers for Magfest. Uh, this being the tenth year, uh, how are you guys liking the venue and, and how everything's turning out? I, I'm amazed. I, it's it's huge. It, I every time I try and d d I trip over my words when I try to you know it's. I, I'm still trying to figure out the exact word to describe the immensity. Of, of MAGFest this year. We had 275 people the first year, and that was counting staff and guests. And it's 20 times that this year, something like that. So, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the first year when we were there, uh, it was kind of like one room, like... Which, which year did you guys go to? Uh, the first. Oh, you were... Oh, I was right, at the original the MAGFest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Virginia. Roanoke, Virginia. It was there for two years, I think. That was, that was it. One year. Yeah, that was one year. And then it moved to Williamsburg, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, and it was... Will and then the year two was kind of a transitional year, and it was in Williamsburg for two years, and then Charlottesville, and... And then Northern uh, Virginia. Yeah, yeah. Williamsburg for two years. MAGFest four was in Charlottesville. MAGFest five was up in Tyson's Corner. Oh. And then MAGFest 6 moved to the Mark Center in Alexandria, and we stayed there for four years, and now we're here. So this is definitely the biggest venue you guys have oh. ever had. Um, now, some of the people, uh, you know, don't really shower and stuff. Do you, do you think you're going to be welcome back here next year? You smell, I smell delicious, I, smell, I might say. smell beautiful. I, yeah, yeah, very manly. Uh, no, we're getting along great with this venue. Excellent. Uh, they're... I, I prepared them. I, I, I warned them of what MAGFest was like. They were ready for it. And they also deal with things like Katsukon, which is bigger than us, and uh, you know other random weird conventions. And the funny thing is, we find when dealing with the venues that they tend to like us because our crowd is really nice. And people like the Shriners are the ones they don't like, because apparently the Shriners, whenever they like have one of their meetings, they get really drunk and trash the place. So, who knew? Who knew, right? You know, at the Mark Center, we got <laughs> double booked with these guys that had a James Bond-themed New Year's party. And MAGFest people came in and cleaned up after them because they left such a mess that the hotel was behind on the cleanup for us. So, so we took it on, and we were cleaning up for them, and the hotel was just like, really? You guys are great. <laughs> so we tend to get along pretty well, better than you would expect with the venues. And we're getting along great with this one. It's been fantastic so far. I'm really happy. Excellent. Now, when we first started, you know, it was definitely a lot about video games, and the music almost seemed like a smaller percentage of the shows. Um, did you ever have any idea that it'd be like close to 30 bands playing over the course of a weekend at this point? I mean, the mini bosses are were there with the original show, yeah, and they're I'm, here this time. Yeah, well, I was just playing right now. Actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Originally, we had sent out six invitations. A, a guy who helped us with the show said, you need to get a guest. So we sent out six invitations, and the mini bosses were the first and, and quickest to reply to us and say, yeah, we'd love to do the show. And other bands started hearing about it. Um, the the one-ups uh, and, and everyone, and, and Jake Kaufman and Ale Sean. And, uh, um, and you know, we, at that point, because originally we had asked the mini bosses, can you play three sets? And they kind of laughed at us. Um, and then my co-chair at the time, Sean, he uh, he said, "Yeah, well, you know, well, we could actually do a con we could turn this into a concert." Um, and so we had the first Magfest concert, and uh, it just kind of—I think Brendan, who took it over for me, had come to the show because of the music element. Uh, he he really wanted to see the mini bosses, and because the music was kind of his thing, it kind of expanded in that direction. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, do you know what MAGFest stands for? Well, it used to be the Mid-Atlantic Gaming Festival. Right. It's really sort of accidental. He started it as a gaming thing that happened to have a concert. And one of the things that I did, I, I started taking over at MAGFest 4. Uh, at MAGFest 3, there were, there were some people that were upset with how it went because it wasn't the sort of event they were expecting. And they went home and, and complained that it was less like a convention and more like a big video game party with a rock concert. And I saw that, and I was like, that's not a complaint, that's our tagline. That's what we should be telling people. And we changed the name from Mid-Atlantic Gaming Festival to Music and Gaming Festival, and we sort of changed the approach of how we were selling ourselves. But the, the music thing was really an accident. He, he tried to start a game festival, and, or a game convention, and it turned ways. Yeah. 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 But it, it just, 
the point is it organically grows. It just, MAGFest does its own thing, and we never really know what's going to catch on. This year, the, the arcades have really caught on, and I'm really happy about that. Yeah. Well, we've definitely been a big fan uh, now going on, it's the 10th year, 11 years running time. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and thank you very much for getting this started. Uh, the community seems to love it a lot, and I think you guys are doing a great job. Thanks. Awesome.